This is example 4.3 on page 144 of our textbook. And this is another balancing chemical equation example, but this time we're going to balance um, a chemical equation that contains polyatomic ions in the chemical formulas. So I'm going to show you how to strategize um, balancing when you have these contained in the reaction. So it says to write a balanced equation for the reaction between aqueous strontium chloride and aqueous lithium phosphate to form solid strontium phosphate and aqueous lithium chloride. So first up, we're going to write the equation for strontium chloride. Strontium is an alkaline earth metal, so it always adopts a 2 plus charge when it is written as an ion. And chlorine is a halogen and it adopts a 1 minus charge. So the formula for strontium chloride, we'd start off with SR2 plus Cl1 minus, crisscross the two and write SrCl2. And this is aqueous. So we put an AQ next to it. Next up, we have aqueous lithium phosphate. So lithium in as an ion exists as Li1 plus. The phosphate ion is PO4 3 minus. So if we crisscross these two, it becomes lithium 3 and then just phosphate with no subscript power because it's just one. And this is aqueous as well. Let me put a little line for balancing next to it. Next, it forms solid strontium phosphate. So that's SR2 plus and PO4 3 minus. We crisscross those charges, it becomes SR3 parentheses. PO4 2. So remember, anytime a um, polyatomic ion is more than one in a formula, we have to surround it with parentheses so that we know that the 2 applies to the entire ion. And this is solid. And then last, we have lithium chloride, which is Li1 plus. Cl1 minus, if we crisscross, it just becomes LiCl, and this is aqueous. So now that I have it all written, we can start to try and balance. So first, I'm going to start with the um, elements. We're going to start with the cations, balancing those, and then we'll go to the anions. So we'll start with strontium since it's listed first. On our reactant side, we have one strontium. On our product side, we have three. So I'm going to put a three in front of strontium chloride. So now I have three strontiums on this side, three strontiums on this side. Next, I'm going to move on to lithium. Lithium on the reactant side has three, on the product side has one. So I'm going to put a three in front of my lithium on the product side. So now I have three lithium on the reactant side, three lithium on the product side. Next, I'm going to move on to my anions. So first, I'm going to start with phosphate. When we're balancing polyatomic ions, you treat them as one single entity. So on my reactant side, I have one PO4 ion. On my product side, I have two. So that means I'm going to put a two in front of my formula containing phosphate on my product side. So now 
number of lithiums has changed to six, and I now have two phosphate ions on my reactant side. On my product side, still have three strontiums, two phosphates, and then three lithiums. So last ion I need to balance, and this is going to in turn also um, take care of another ion that currently needs to be rebalanced, is going to be chloride. So on our reactant side, I have three times two chlorines, so that gives me six Cl. On my product side, I currently have three times Cl, only three chlorides. So what I need to do is change that three in front of the lithium to a six. And in turn, that's gonna change the number of lithiums I have to six, number of chlorines I have to six as well. So, my balanced equation is going to be 3 SrCl2 plus 2 Li3PO4 produces SR3PO4 2. That does not have a coefficient out in front, meaning it's just there's one molecule present plus six LiCl aqueous. And if we count up everything, we have three strontiums on each side, six chlorines on each side, six lithiums on each side, and two PO4 ions on each side. So we are balanced, and this is our final answer.